Okay guys, welcome along to me in the shed. Uh, I haven't been doing anything the last couple of days. Uh, I've put my back out. I was doing a wee bit of tidying up with the, the bushes growing over my shed roof. And uh, whatever way I was positioned on the roof, I've pulled something in my back and it's really <laughs> uh, crippled me. <coughs> so managed to get, I haven't done anything for the last three days, I've been sitting in the house taking painkillers. So today I thought I'd come out and do a wee bit more marbling. Uh, any of you that's seen Monday's uh, demo live on YouTube would have come across this. I dipped uh, a blank in on, on the live and uh, I left it outside to dry and when I brought it back in there was a couple of uh, spots on it that looked like circles on it and it was air bubbles that were in the ink and when the, dry, the paint dried it just left a, a, a circle in, the, uh, in its place so I have sanded it back and given it an R coat of white. And there we are. You can see just see the colours of the, the last stuff. So I just give it a colour, basic flat white matte. And uh, I think it does help, especially if you, you're doing it on a, a figured piece of wood and you don't want the figure coming back through the piece. So instead of using nice bright colours, I'm going to go with some dark colours today. So we're going to go with some blue. Let's see if we can get the, a better Okay, what else will I put in it? It's dark. Mm. Let's see. Maybe that'll be enough, you know. I think that'll be enough. I don't want to make it too uh, <coughs> much colour in it. So I'm trying to disperse these, make a pattern with them. We'll dip that and see what, what happens. And just get that one out of the way. Again, we're just going to fold it. And we're going to just dip it in. And I like that one more. It's nice. Uh, colors on it and uh, there's bubbles on it I, ha I need to get those off that so I'm just going to maneuver this round to get any excess water off this and get these trend to run down a bit oh, I'm able to burst those ones good Okay guys, <coughs> back in the shed today, uh, this is the piece I uh, done a wee bit of <coughs> paint marbling on yesterday. It's had a chance to dry and I give it a light <coughs> sanding on the front and two coats of clear lacquer over the front. So we need to take away from the back of it and to shape it and then we can turn it around and finish the front. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you. 
So you can see, guys, this is the result from the marbling yesterday I done on this piece. <coughs> As I said, I uh, painted it white for a base coat underneath and then let that dry, sanded it back and give it a wee wipe over with a, a wee damp cloth. And then I mix some paints up on a tray and we done that sort of design which looks quite stunning if I may say so myself. I was quite impressed the way that one came out. Uh, I went for more the bluey colour and green and a bit of purple in this and a wee touch of we tadge of white. So I just want to mark the border here with the, the parting tool. So we'll keep it into there. that up so you can see it better. I'll just take that paint off that. Okay. Uh, so I think we need an outline here. So mm -hmm. I'll use the bit of important to to do that. Turn that up a bit. Just give it gives it a distinctive look. It sort of stands out better when you have a start line and a finish line. I just touch this up with a wee bit of sandpaper.
to Yorkshire Grit. And, uh, and, And that's that finished, guys. Uh, I'll just take it off the chuck here, or the, the foot, and I'll do that later, because I may want to give us an RV coat of sand and sealer, or lacquer over the top of it. But you can see, it turned out very nice. And, uh, I like the squirrels and that with the, the effect it gives you. So there you are. Norby project done and dusted. Uh, that was the piece I marbled on Monday and it didn't turn out right because of the bubbles in the, the paint and I didn't know the take them away so when the paint dried out that uh, that left the, the mark of the the bubble the circle so uh, i just sanded it a wee bit and give it an arc coat of white white paint over the top of it and let that dry sanded it and then i mixed the paints and dipped it again so that's uh, the result of doing that and I'm very pleased with the way it came out. So I am very, very pleased. So a different, took a different route this time on the colors. Uh, red and, uh, and orange is okay, but I wanted more of a, the effect that this has given me, the greens and the blue, the purple, and we taste the white in that. I think it was four colours in that. Uh, blue, green, purple and white. Uh, four. And I didn't mix it too much. Uh, the idea is to get the, the swirling effect of the colours interacting with each other. And hopefully you can capture a good print from that. But uh, I'm quite happy the way that turned out and uh, there you are guys that's all I have to say on that one <laughs> uh, so if you're watching this thanks for watching and uh, if you do like what you I do please consider subscribing to the channel it'll help me out a lot and uh, it'll notify you too when I put new videos or our next lives coming up. Uh, I do a live every Monday afternoon at one o'clock. Uh, you can watch out for that. Uh, it's always a bit different. <laughs> I like to keep our, the options open. Uh, I haven't got a, sometimes I have a clear vision of what I'm gonna do, but uh, for this Monday's uh, demo, uh, I don't have a an England what I'm going to do. So uh, I'll just have to look and see what I can find in the wood pile, and, and I'll take it from there. So, guys, thanks very much for watching and taking the time to comment and uh, watch the video. I really appreciate it. So I'll say forever, cheerio from now. Bye.